Chapter Thirty Three of The Adventures of Puss in Boots, Jr. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Jen Broda. The Adventures of Puss in Boots, Jr. by David Corey. The Bride Receives Some Handsome Presents. Don't be gone long! cried Puss Jr. as the rabbit and the beaver ran off to their homes to get a present for Jenny Wren. You had better hurry, or the wedding will be over by the time you return. Don't worry about me, said the rabbit, whisking away at a great rate. I'll be back, never fear, said the beaver. Puss watched them out of sight. Then he heard the parson begin again. Oh, then, says Parson Rook, who gives this maid away? I do, says the goldfinch, and her fortune I will pay. Here's a bag of grain of many sorts, and other things besides. Now happy be the bridegroom, and happy be the bride. Presently the little rabbit returned. Do you think she will like this? He asked Puss Jr., holding up a little white powder puff. I made it all myself. I had it put away in a little box for safekeeping. It's very pretty said Puss Jr. with a smile. What little bunny's tail did you cut off to make it with? Not mine, replied the rabbit, but don't ask me too many questions. Just then the beaver came panting up. Phew! he cried. I'd rather travel by water than by land, but anyhow, I'm here. How do you think she will like my present? And he held up a little gold ring. Just the thing, cried Puss. But where did you get it? Oh, I found it on the bottom of the brook one day, replied the beaver. So I picked it up and hung it on a nail. I thought it might come in handy some day. When shall we give her the present? asked the squirrel. Wait, wait, said Puss. They're not married yet. Listen to Parson Rook. And will you have her, Robin, to be your wedded wife? Yes, I will, says Robin, and love her all my life. And will you have him, Jenny, your husband now to be? Yes, I will, says Jenny, and love him heartily. Then on her finger fair, Cock Robin put the ring. You're married now, says Parson Rook, while loud the lark did sing. Happy be the bridegroom, and happy be the bride. And may not man, nor bird, nor beast, this happy pair divide. End of chapter 33 Recording by Jen Broda